From Iran, we shift our focus to Lebanon. Parliamentary polls have just concluded there amid a severe economic crisis. The Iran-backed Hezbollah and its allies have lost their majority, winning just 62 seats. That's three less than the halfway mark. What does this mean for Lebanon's political future? Who is going to call the shots in the country? And how does its political system even work? Here's a report on all that you need to know. Lebanon's parliamentary polls have concluded. The balance of power has changed. The Hezbollah has lost its majority. But there's no outright winner. The elections were fought between two powerful blocs. On one hand were the Hezbollah and its allies that have traditionally been aligned with Iran. On the other were the Lebanese forces and its allies that aligned themselves with Saudi Arabia. In the middle were independent candidates with no clear leanings. So who has won? There is no clarity. No bloc has secured a majority. The ruling Hezbollah movement and its allies have won 62 of the 128 parliamentary seats. That's nine less than what they won in 2018, and three less than what's needed to stay in power. What about the other bloc? Well, the Lebanese forces, or LF, won 20 seats, five more than the 15 seats they won in 2018. This makes the LF the biggest Christian party in the parliament. Why does that matter? Because Lebanon has a rigid power-sharing system. Under a decades-old arrangement, Lebanon's president must always be a Maronite Christian. The prime minister must always be a Sunni Muslim and the speaker of parliament a Shia Muslim. Until now, this man was the president. Michel Leon of the Christian Free Patriotic Movement, a party aligned with the Hezbollah movement. It has won just 16 seats, down from 18 seats previously. Simply put, it is no longer the majority Christian party. What does this mean? That Michel Leon could well be on his way out as president. As it is, his term is going to end in October this year. Lebanon will have a new president either way. What about the rest of the government? Who is going to call the shots? No one knows. Experts say, with no bloc in majority, only turmoil lies ahead. Unless the two blocs reach a consensus on governance, Lebanon could be stuck in a political deadlock. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.